Hey Baby Shower host, it's Ike Paz from ParallelBabyShower.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do DIY ballerina baby shower printables, games, and banners for your upcoming girl themed ballerina baby shower event. That's a mouthful. Okay, first thing you want to do is go to Canva, C A N V A, and open a free account. It's absolutely free, like I mentioned. Um, it's an online piece of software that lets you drag and drop um, anything you want into an image and you know when you're done it's gonna look stunning okay so I use it all the time uh, to create printables for my for my customers and create images for Pinterest Canva is amazing okay just just write I just want to let you know it's amazing okay and it's a free resource uh, once you're in Canva you're gonna want to create printables that's uh, you know something that you download print out and actually use you want to create printable games of course and printable banners for your ballerina theme uh, if you live in the, if you live in Europe or in Asia then A4 would be the perfect size to start out with because that's the standard size of paper over there uh, if you live in the US then you want to use US letter size okay so let's open let's start with US letter size now the first thing you want to create is a printable banner for your event so where or how I should say do we create a printable ballerina baby shower banner? Very simple. Uh, first thing you want to do is click and type triangle. Why? Because banners, the, I mean, typically when you think of a banner, you think of a triangle banner. Uh, let's choose, uh, let me see here, what's a good banner? What is a good banner? Let's free one right here. Click that one right there. Okay. Now we're going to flip it around. Okay. And we're going to just drag it like that. And we're going to color it pink. So just click this color button here. Let's click this pink button. And uh, we'll see how that looks. Okay. Not only that, we're going to copy that and we're going to flip this too. So we have Y because we, we want two, two per page. Okay. Hopefully it, it uh, cooperates with me. There we go. And drag that to the bottom right. So this is at the bottom left, top one, bottom is at the bottom right. Now we have two banners. We save time and money by putting it on one sheet. Now that we have that, we want to decorate. Now, <clears throat> I uh, already went and create, created some baby shower ballerina banners and stuff, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you want to do it yourself, that, that's great. Okay. So as you can see, I have these ballerina type uh, cartoons and, and figures here that I got for free. I'm going to show you where. I got that at Pixabay. Okay, Pixabay.com. It's an open source database of images that you can use for anything you want, anything, even commercially. If you want to sell something that you create using Pixabay image, that's perfectly okay. You can do that on Etsy, but that's for a different video. Okay, so Pixabay, what do we do? Uh, we're looking for ballerina. Ballerina. As you can see here, I have only illustrations selected. Okay, just illustrations. And you have ballerina silhouettes. That does not look like an illustration. It looks like an image. Uh, you have this cute little ballerina girl thing here. You have uh, this is the one I used right here. You can use this one, but let's use this one for the for this example. Okay. So I'm going to use the moon. I'm going to use the moon for this banner. Put that in there and make it work. Adjust it. And shrink it down a notch. 
the cool thing about Canva, it will center everything for you. Just gonna move it around until it works. Okay, so the moon there. Put some stars in that in that uh, triangle, perhaps. Triangle banner. So you can see there's all kinds of things you can do. Just like that, cool. I want to put our ballerina in this one here. Shrink it down just a little bit. And put her right in there. Just like that. Now the background's a little bit too strong of a pink, I think. I'm going to maybe make it stronger to bring out to bring out the the colors of the of, of the other of the other images in there or lighter obviously lighter is not the way to go we're going to go stronger 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 almost like a pinkish red oh, let's keep it more mm. let's try that again let's get this pink and let's see no let's get this pink and let's see how how dark we can go yes very good i'm going to copy this color copy that color so i can apply it to this one too again click the color box here and Perfect. Okay, we're almost done. I want to color the background gray. So when you do cut it out, when you print it out and cut it out, you know it won't be, it won't be uh, difficult to you know see the lines where your banner begins and where it ends. Okay, so we have our banners done. We're gonna click this copy button here. Okay, now we want to create a game. Now you can create as many games as you want. The more the better, I say. We're gonna uh, delete all this stuff here. Delete this, delete that, delete this, okay, because the banner's already done, okay? This is page two. Click uploads, okay? Now I already have this banner, not this banner, excuse me, this template I already created. So I'm gonna use this for. my theme and that you have your background I want to create a game so what kind of game can we create uh, if you go to print my baby shower uh, you can go to for example type in family feud or baby feud for for our uh, for our purposes baby feud and you'll find a game template you can easily use so click down go down scroll down scroll down scroll down here we go just copy this right here okay copy this one second like that copy that we want to use that later in our game First, you want to name it. We're going to name it. Wait, first off, we're going to go to text. We're going to call this, we're going to drop that in there, and we're going to call this Baby Feud. Baby Feud. We're going to change the font to something that looks better with this. I think I'm going to use Pacifico. I'm a big fan of Pacifico. Where are you, Pacifico? You're somewhere here. I know you are. Where are you? Where are you? At P, you should be there, Pacifico. Baby Feud. Okay, it's working. Cool. We're going to increase the size of that. Okay. 
and we are going to move it to the top here. Let's let's change the color first. Let's make that pink. Perfect. A nice powerful pink to go with our make that even bigger. Why not? Let's make it 80. Perfect. So now that we have our title for the game, I'm going to move that to, to the side a little bit. Perfect, just like that. Actually, I want to put some more of the background. I'm going to copy. Of, of course, you can get your own background on Pixabay, just like I showed you. Pink. Background, for example, and type that in. And you can find something that is to your liking. But I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to arrange it so. And copy it again. Whoa. Copy that. Let's create my nice little background. Like that. Okay. So, Baby Feud, um, I'm going to add some more text. The game. Remember, I actually copied this uh, game right here from my uh, website. And I'm going to paste it in here, just like that. You're going to want to align it to the left. And we're going to bring it up. You want to spread it out too. So we're going to take this little button here and drag it a bit. Like that. And it's kind of big. So we're going to turn this. Uh, we're going to change the font size to 12. That's what the standard size is, I believe. We can make it bigger if it, if, we, if we can if we have more room. But it fits perfectly. So we can actually move it. Okay, I'm going to do some adjusting here. So we have the question and the answers all matched up. Let me get this right for you. I'm doing this off the cuff, uh, so that's why it looks the way it does. It still looks pretty good, I think. Here we have a game, right? We have Baby Feud. Uh, so you, you print this out. Maybe we can increase this just a notch more. Maybe 14. No, it's too much. Let's go back to 12. Yeah. 
So we have our first game, uh, Baby Feud. If you want to learn how to play it, you can go to PyramidBabyShower.com and find out the rules of the game. But that's one. You can copy this just like we did before. But now we have the template. All we got to do is remove, change the game, or remove the text, whatever you want, and change the change the, the the title right so let's say this is a nursery baby shower nursery baby shower game okay and we might want to change the title instead of baby feud we might want to call it for example Nursery, nursery rhyme. Of course, it's too big, so we're going to shrink it down to 64. Let's do that again. 56. Perfect, nursery rhyme. And then we put in our nursery rhyme game. You can find that online somewhere, I'm sure. And you just create as many games as you want. As many games, just copy that. And then once you're done, you name it, Ballerina Game, for example. Click the download button, and you have everything in one little PDF, okay? Now, the cool thing is, I already created an entire Ballerina Baby Shower game set for you, so you don't have to do it yourself. It's up to you. And you can get it at PrintMyBabyShower.com, okay? It's a 12-piece ballerina printable game set that comes, again, with banners and many bonuses. So what games do you get? You get I've Never, What's in Your Phone, Nursery Rhyme Game, Bingo, Mad Libs, ABC Game, The Candy Match Game, The Word Search Game, The Crossword Game, How Long Until Baby Shower Guessing Game, The Word Scramble Game, and maybe one of my favorites, Mad Libs. I really like Mad Libs. Of course, you get the answers included, and you get all of this uh, for ten thirty-five. Actually, you get it even for you get you get it for cheaper because uh, I have a special coupon for people who watch this on YouTube, and the coupon code is UPrint. If you type in UPrint in the in the checkout of this product for this product, you get a dollar fifty off of any printable you get on PrintMyBabyShower.com with the coupon code UPrint. Okay, so yeah, you have the option to make your own uh, printable ballerina baby shower do-it-yourself theme, or you can get the one I already created. You know, you can get it all all at once, real quickly and easily. Beautiful 12 print, 12 baby shower games, banners plus bonuses for your event. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to create a ballerina baby shower do-it-yourself theme. Have a great day. This is like pause. Bye bye.